I'm Ian Burnside, I'm a pianist and broadcaster, and I'm in isolation in the East End of London. Hands Up have asked me to choose something to read, uh, so I've brought along a poem by Elizabeth Bishop called One Art. If you enjoy it, um, please would you consider making a donation to Hands Up, they're the most fantastic organisation who do immeasurable good. There will be a link at the end of this. So this is a poem called One Art by Elizabeth Bishop. The art of losing isn't hard to master. So many things seem filled with the intent to be lost that their loss is no disaster. Lose something every day. Accept the fluster of lost door keys, the hour badly spent. The art of losing isn't hard to master. Then practice losing farther, losing faster. Places and names and where it was you meant to travel, none of these will bring disaster. I lost my mother's watch, and look, my last, or next to last, of three loved houses went. The art of losing isn't hard to master. I lost two cities, lovely ones, and vaster, some realms I owned, two rivers, a continent. I missed them, but it wasn't a disaster. Even losing you, the joking voice, a gesture I love, I shan't have lied. It's evident the art of losing is not too hard to master, though it may look like, write it, like disaster. Tea by Caroline Duffy. I like pouring your tea, lifting the heavy pot and tipping it up so the fragrant liquid streams in your china cup. Or when you're away, or at work, I like to think of your cupped hands as you sip, of the faint half-smile of your lips. I like the questions, sugar, milk, and the answers I don't know by heart yet, for I see your soul in your eyes, and I forget. Jasmine, gunpowder, Assam, Earl Grey, Salon, I love tea's names. Which tea would you like, I say? But it's any tea for you, please, any time of day, as the women harvest the slopes for the sweetest leaves on Mount Wuyi, and I am your lover, smitten, straining your tea. Mm -hmm.